This wipe I played solo on a 500 pop server on wipe day. This entire video is recorded in less than 15 hours of playing, and it's safe to say that this definitely has been one of my best wipe days. So please just relax and have fun watching this video. Alright, I am in. So today I am playing solo. You guys seem to really enjoy these solo videos, so I thought I might as well just try to play solo again and hopefully get a nice wipe going. It is currently wipe day and the server has about 500 people online. But yeah, if you guys do enjoy these solo videos, I would really appreciate it if you would leave a like on the video and subscribe as well if you like the content of course. Cause it does help me out to know if this is something you guys do enjoy so I can uh, do it more often. I'm gonna get a bit of wood and then make a bow. There we go. This map actually seems very good as well. I think I want to build somewhere at water treatment and I'm right here. I do think I want to put the base down in the snow though. Maybe like H8, G8 seems pretty good. But yeah, I haven't built in the snow for quite a while now, so that could be fun. There's a lot of guys here. I got with the bow as well. I might go around a bit, kill a few of these guys spawning in, because some people do farm, like, a lot of stuff before they get the base down. And then I might just get the base down instantly, or I might get a cabin down, because that's only, like, 600 wood. What is going on here? Okay. No way. I actually think I want to get a base on like right here. Seems like a very nice spot and it's on like a bit of high ground as well. Gotta make sure I can actually fit the base up here though. Like right here maybe? I do need to get a TC down though, pretty quick. I would love to just get like a tier 1 down very fast as well. And then just make a crossbow nail gun because that is extremely OP like early game. There we go. Alright, okay, I'm gonna head back out and I do want to go a bit towards the grass over here. Because that is for sure just a bunch of people still running around farming to, to get their own bases down. There's two bases up there too. One of them is like pretty decent size too. Okay, a bit of components, cloth. I actually really like this spot though. Like my base is up there in the hill. This area is so open and I got a road down here too. I got a road, I got grass here. So there's cloth like everywhere as well, which is very nice. No, they're all together. Okay, there's three of them. I'm gonna get this back. I don't think I can fight this. I'm gonna make another box. I gotta start. No. Nah, I'm dead here. It is so, like I need walls when I run around here. What is this guy's name? I bet these guys are gonna build here somewhere. Just numbers, okay. Only lost a bow though. I do put everything else, so it's fine. I do actually want to try though to see if I can find them again. Oh, his bow is here. Nice. This is the one guy. Oh, they didn't even loot him. What? I mean, there's no way they were that full. Both of them. I had a feeling these guys were gonna get their base down somewhere near me, so I headed out to find out where. I also want you guys to keep this specific name in mind, as I would encounter him a lot more throughout the wipe. Yeah, they're building over there, that's a foundation. There's only two right now though, no three, never mind. So they put down a foundation here, but they didn't build here. They're running over here towards like F10, so I bet they're gonna build either down there or on the right somewhere. Yeah, they have a base already. Okay. Well, I mean, good to know, because that was the guys I was just fighting. There's a guy on my left here with a bow, I think. Yeah. 
Yeah, like nothing but a bow. Oh, that guy's geared. Farming the road down here. Oh, he's running. How did he not die from that? Oh my god. Kinda stacked. I mean, it's not that insane because he had a lot of food, but I'll take it. I think they live up on the hill there. Yeah, I'm getting followed by so many. I am so dead, wow. How deep are they? Why are they still following? Yeah, I'm so dead here. I mean, what am I supposed to do? They're so deep. Well, I know where those guys live as well. Like, I saw, like, two bases up on the hill, so that is for sure where they live. I do love this area though, I live right beside water treatment, which is probably my favorite monument. So when I start getting actual like guns, even just P2s and I have the BP as well, I can just run down to water treatment and loot the components there and well, there's probably gonna be a lot of people there too. It is night time though, so I'm gonna do a bit of expanding, hopefully no one is camping me. There we go, gotta jump up at least. I'm not entirely sure though that I can fit the space here, so hopefully I can. And if not, I'm just gonna build the space in a different way, I guess. And the way up, nice. I do have the scrap that I need for a tier 1 workbench, but I do need a furnace so I can actually cook some metal. So I think that's what I'll do, I'll bring out the tool and then get some animals. And it's getting morning as well, nice. I'm gonna like head down here a bit towards the grass here, because I don't want to go too much down to the snow, because that's where the trio lives. Nice. Holy shit. Alright, I'm just gonna run that back. Wow. That guy actually had so much loot and he was fully naked as well. He had 150 scraps, so many components. Nice, man. Wow. I do need some large boxes though, but I still don't have a furnace and I need metal. Two guys down there behind me. One of them is very geared. Nah. Nice. Oh my fucking god. I'm gonna take this back, go back for the rest, there's like a lot more. That is just insane, like people are so loaded. The one guy had nothing, but the, the crossbow guy had a bunch. He had a shotgun trap as well, which is so nice, I can just place it down instantly. Like right here, perfect. I can use this uh, animal fat to make a bunch of low grade actually, so I can get some furnaces down. I need some metal dolls as well, and I gotta upgrade this right here, and that. There we go. Uh, at least I can get another dawn here. I do need more stone though to finish the inside. The placement is gonna be kinda scuffed for everything right now, but I'm gonna organize it and replace it at some point. Okay, well, this is the components that I have already, so definitely not bad. And then I got a bunch of bows and tools. Alright, well, I'm gonna head out, because I do need to wait for the metal to cook. But then I do want to get the tier 1 workbench down, and then make myself a nail gun. I got fire arrows with me here too, because they are just insane. Like, I think they got a nerf at some point. But that doesn't change the fact that if you're close range and you hit someone with it, it damage a bunch. Plus, it just slows them down completely, like they can't run when you shoot it at them, so it's just really good. No base on my right as well, but it's only wood. There's a base here, so I bet he lives in there. Guy here as well. Nice.
Oh, this got a bit, but not much. There's a lot of nodes around here, so I think I'll get the workbench down and then bring a pickaxe out, get some of them. There we go, and then I'll make a nail gun as well. I'm gonna just depot this, because I have so many, like, bases around my area, so I can't be farming a bunch. I do need to get metal too though, because I have no metal doors on this base. I only have two wooden doors, and I don't think it's going to be hard for someone to get like two satchels. I do see a guy inside, going like towards the recycler. Oh, it's three of them. Never mind. No, I'm so dead. What? Oh my god. I can make a crossbow nail gun again though, but I do want to find a way to recycle the components that I have. And then what I could do is just make P2s, which is just very good early game. I fucking love P2. I'm just gonna make a nail gun for now, because I do need the rest of the metal to make a double door sheet metal. If I could just farm a few components here and then recycle and get the scrap that I need, that would be a lot better than me having to grab my own components in the base. Okay, I mean, this should give me a good amount. I got like three semi buddies from this. Two fuses. Oh, there's a guy here. Oh, it's not bad, but I do need a bit more, I think. I got some metal from this as well, so I can make a double door finally. I only need like 70 more scrap. I'm gonna put a door here as well. Only wood though for now. I only needed a small amount of scrap for the tier 2 workbench, so I went back to water treatment. I farmed a few components, recycled them, and that gave me just enough. I already had the components I needed to make my first gun, so I crafted myself a P2. Should be ready, I don't have too much ammo, but it should be enough. Not sure where to go though, maybe like towards sewer a bit. One guy on my left, but I think he's running into the base. There he did. Okay, I'm gonna run down to sewer here and see if there's anyone there. Come on. Please be dead. He's dead. Wow. No mess though. And yeah, more guys coming from right behind me. Like, I want to fight this, but I need to met up first. No way. Dude, I need some bandages. I actually had, like, stuff as well. Well, I'm gonna run with that. Not bad at all. That was such a weird fight though. They had like one guy naked pushing me. And then the one guy with the crossbow and the one guy with the python. So over there and there's a guy down there farming. That's like right where I need to run to my base. Not a bad first run though. I mean, this is two tier two guns. Pythons are pretty good. I actually think those guys are building the exact same design as me. At least the jump up is the same, like the whole thing right now is the same, so I think they are. All I kinda just need now is more components, more scrap, I do need to get farmers wall for the base. Okay, well I'm dead. Oh my god, alone there's so many. They're running that way, I could imagine it's the base down at uh, the hill maybe. That Chinook helicopter is probably gonna drop here at water treatment. That's not even on me. Okay, yeah, that's bad, not bad. Oh, it actually dropped. Nice. Well, I don't know if there's anyone in here now, but I'm gonna turn it on and then get in the garage. There's gonna be so many people here, though. Yep, people here already.
Oh my god. This is the first Chinook raid though, so there's gonna be so many. There's another one here. He might be dead as well. They actually have like loot as well. There we go. Right, I'm actually gonna go out here instead. Wait. Did he not die? Need to go loot that. I don't want people to be picking up revis. That's like another six minutes on the crate. There's a few guys here. A lot of people. Okay. I am probably dead here. Alright, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop some revis here. For my loot. Pretty sure there's like another two more. Yeah, there's two more in here. The second I had a good peek on that guy, he just moved. Pretty sure the crate is uh, open now though, but I'm gonna try to head back, see if I can make it. If not, I did drop some stuff, so I didn't lose everything. I pretty much only lost the P2. I'm just gonna run down here, I don't even wanna fight the other guy. Why is that guy in the recycler? The yeah, crate is gone, okay. No way. Okay, well, of course it's not just one guy. I need the arm, I'm gonna drop the tummy here. No, almost had it. I mean, there's no way they found the tummy. They're still there. Two guys. No way they actually found it. Like, it's gone. How? They're still here. Nice. I mean, it's really not much, but like, at least I got something out of it. I don't think I have bad BP either, so that's pretty good. So, water treatment. Okay. It's right here. And over there, so there's a few. No. There's more than one though, I'm so dead here. What? There's no way he survived that. Over there now. Oh. Yeah, they're both together. Oh shit. Oh my god. Who is together and who's not? Like, what's going on? I mean, they are fighting. Okay, how are you not dead? Okay. A Tommy, no way. Another P2. Alright, oh, well, I mean, this is something. I'll take it. I'm gonna go back with that.
I had expanded my base with the stone I now had, but it was still far from done. I needed more stone to expand, and I needed more metal for shop rooms and doors. So I headed out to farm some more nodes. Okay, actually had farm with a stone pickaxe. I don't want to use my gun on this guy. Yeah, fuck you. You fucking black me. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna do these small runs. Like just farm a bit depot, farm a bit depot. Nothing. Guy on my left here. Okay, I'll take it. Another one, of course. I mean, I can kill this guy too, he just has to push. Oh my god. Not bad though, like, Rev is always good to have in base just for grabbing and stuff. Okay, he took out the saw. And wall here, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, nothing I can do really. Wait, I'm gonna get some more. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna get some more wood. Oh, you killed the guy right here. It is never just one now. Okay, dude. Nice man, that guy had a bunch of stuff, wow! He had so much farm, that's insane! For some reason this does look a bit different from how I usually build the base, I don't know what I did wrong. It might be fine though anyways, hopefully. There we go. Then I pretty much just need to make the shooting floor, like the very top. And that should be the entire base and of course I need a lot of doors here too. Two guys there. Uh, are they running into that base? I think they are. Yeah. There we go, now I should be able to make the shooting floor. Hey, it's on the roof. I would love to go there with like a ladder. I could actually do that, I think I have one. Yeah, I do. Nice. Nine hundred scrap. I need them to die here so they're gonna spawn in. I am not gonna be able to get in. I don't think they're gonna open, but I mean, nine hundred scrap. I wish I could get that back. Come on. Actually, why would they move the dude here? What does that do? Ah, uh, now it's a main dude, okay. Can I get out though? Oh my... What? Hello? Alright, well, I'm going. Ah, uh, they gotta be like so new. No way they place down a code lock and they don't write in the code. Dude, I got 900 scrap out of that though. Huge. Wow. What do you want to do about this situation, my guy? I don't know if I want to speak here. Like, I could probably, like, negotiate. Uh, you you want to make a deal? What? what? Oh, fuck. Oh, I, I took okay, it. I understand. He didn't even realize. 
Uh, I understand that. You gave me something I need, I gave you back the, the code. What do you need? Well, what do you guys have? Nothing. You just took all the scrap we farmed. If you uh, give me, uh, no, we look, don't. 3k metal fragments, I'll give you back the door. I do not have that. The fact that I had one of the doors actually made this a really good target. He even told me they had nothing, but seeing I already had taken 900 scrap from them, I knew that wasn't true. My plan was to raid these guys today, but for that I did need some more sulfur, and also to do other things like finishing up the rest of my base, and also getting a bunch of doors down. I was about to get some more farm, but that's when I heard someone satchel raiding. Someone's getting satchel raided, and it's not that far away from me. This guy's got P2, so Revis. One Arctic suit guy just ran up. They probably live up there. It's all over there now, too. One dead, there's one more though. I guess that too. I really should run, but I'm gonna be greedy here. I'm gonna get it all. What's the guns? MP5 here. No mats though, like not a single one. I gotta get down to these bushes here and the trees. Get in. Nice. What a great fight, man. Why is there a naked coming straight to my base? Guy down there. Two guys. Yeah, so they're left down there. They're actually running up the hill here. I might fight this. One more guy there, somewhere. I'm gonna flank here, because he's not gonna expect it. And this mate is gonna come back too. Oh my god, that was close. Hopefully that's it though for now. I know where they live though. There we go, okay. I mean, I am so raided. I made so many enemies. And pretty much all of them like followed me to the base. He's not gonna kill me here. And then I'm gonna put down a single door here. Thing is, I got a good amount of sulfur already. And when I went deep on their base and I was inside, it did not sound like they had any garage doors at all. They didn't even remove the ladder, so they might have just quit for today. But yeah, it didn't sound like they had any garage doors at all. I know the design like completely because I was in there. So I'm gonna get some wood here, get some more furnaces down as well, and then just cook a bunch of sulfur. I don't think I have the bean can BP, so I'm gonna get that. How far is it though? 640. Wow. I mean, I might as well though. I get shock and travel on the way down. Silence as well, I guess. There we go. Okay. Oh. Oh. That's the guys on the right though. They have AKs now. That guy's so dead. Wait, there's another one right here. Go for it, I guess. See, like two guys. Oh, three guys. Ellie seems to be out now. If that does come over here and they take it down, that is bad. There we go. What I do need is gears for garage doors and also for shotgun traps. So yeah, I'm gonna make my way to water treatment, hopefully get some gears. 
That's a Hessig over there. It might actually be putting in the fuse. I'm gonna wait right here. Yeah, they're going up. Okay. Why is that guy naked? I think he forgot to hesitate. bait. There we go. A oh, blue card as well, nice. Oh my god. I gotta get out of here, man. These guys are gonna come back instantly. Well, I didn't get any gears, but I got a bunch of stuff. I got four guns, total. Blue card is huge as well, though. I can go water treatment and just get the red card. Might as well bring the blue card now, then I'll get the red card at water treatment. I'm gonna depot this down, then go back with the blue card again. The red card, nice. Overall, not bad at all. And over here and here. Nice, top roof is pretty much done then. That should be pretty much everything. I do need a few more doors here, but other than that, the base is finished. I'm gonna make a bed and then uh, put a few sets upstairs. So my base was now expanded to the fullest, and all it really needed was just a few more doors. I had a good amount of gunpowder, but just to make sure I had enough to raid my neighbors, I headed out for one last farm run. When I got back, I crafted up all of the satchels I could, and then it was time to finally raid these guys. So 19 satchels. I mean, that should be enough, I hope it is. Yeah, ladder's still there, nice. On, be fast. Feel like they might have placed traps as well. No, this should be mine. Yep. Going in here, and then this is the way down. Okay, I'm gonna have enough here for sure. Way down here. Doors open as well. They didn't even close it. Okay. I mean, I don't know if they have anything in here, but like, that 900 scrap, they had a bunch of charcoal, so I feel like they should have something. Okay, T2, furnaces, sleeper. We'll just get TC. TC is unlocked as well for some reason. Well, I got my own door on already. What am I doing? I can just put it here then. Alright. Okay, three tummies, okay, crafted. Up in here, TC, oh my god, wow. High qual and metal, that is literally just what I need. Oh my god, wait. Turret, another tummy. Oh my god, what? What? Hello? Actually stacked, what is this? Actually loaded. More sulfur in here, wait, that's insane. They're so loaded. I'm gonna get these bags away. There's people up there. When I can secure this a bunch, there's no way they can get in. There's a lot of people outside. Like they might raid in. Well played. We're too slow. We do good loot. But there were like one, two, three, four. There were five bags in here too. Like the sulfur. Two, almost three rows of sulfur. I mean, it can't even fit in one box. This is just like the farm. Can't really move the loot right now though, because I need to make sure that there's no one outside. 
Yeah, that is waiting for me. I'm not gonna risk anything, so I'm gonna just wait a bit for those guys to leave. I'm gonna check if they're here still. It's been like five minutes. I think I'm fine. I'm gonna just take it now and dip. Man, I gotta do so many runs. The crazy thing is, I think this took about 12 satchels. Like, that is an insane amount of stuff from only using 12 satchels. Like, I did not expect anything close to the amount of stuff that they had. I'm actually gonna create the inside here of Hikewall instantly. Well, I got a shit ton of farm now, so I pretty much just need to actually smelt it. So I'm gonna get a bunch of wood and then uh, smelt everything in the furnaces, probably make a few more as well. Well, I got a bunch of wood, so now I just need a bunch of furnaces. Oh yeah, I'm gonna start with setting up the windmill, so I can actually have a turret on the roof. There we go. And then where do I want the turret? Maybe here, because I'm gonna have like glass doors here. I can use that as a heli garage as well, which is pretty nice. Yes, it works. After getting this turret down, I spent some time getting a bunch of garage stores and even shotgun traps down. So this should make it harder for people to offline raid me. I really wanted to get my hands on an AK so I could defend my base easier if I did get raided. But I didn't have the BP for it. So I built a shop right beside my base and put up stuff for sale for an AK. While waiting for someone to buy something, I decided to focus on getting down a tier 3 workbench. All my furnaces are going again, so I'm gonna bring... A decent amount of components to outpost. And then I want to buy a heli and then fly back to base, grab some more components and then recycle again. And then I should have more than enough for tier 3 and maybe even AK. I don't think so, but maybe I could take 3 to AK. Man, I just fixed my sleep schedule as well and now it is just so bad again. It is almost 6am right now and that is just the reality of playing uh, wipe days. For me, playing a lot on wipe day is just something I feel like I have to do. But playing a lot today is for sure going to be worth it because I'm going to have the entire base finished as well. There we go. I'm going to buy a heli and then fly back to base and then fly back here again. Man, I got so many components. Alright, well... It is not enough for tier 3, but it is close. I do want to buy a bit of metal though, so I'm gonna have even less. All the furnaces are done as well. Okay, I got a lot of metal, so I'm gonna see if I can upgrade the entire base. I am pretty sure that is like the entire base I created to metal. That looks so nice man, with the white skin as well for the walls. Oh yes, yeah, someone actually bought something. Nice, okay. There we go. A Tommy, nice. I actually could just follow the road here and then make my way to airfield. Okay, I see this guy. It's not like the crack. He's just crouching. I'm over there. I don't want to kill this guy. There's no point. Oh my god. 
Well, I cannot take all of it. I'm gonna just dip. Man, those guys were so stacked. Holy, so many guns. And I am dead. Okay. <laughs> nice. Oh, well, this guy got some loot. Like, at least if I get the tier 3 down, I can start making AKs. And I can at least just make a few AKs so I have them as sets. The components are over. Wait, what is going on over here? This Revy guy is, like, killing these guys. There's one left. What is going on? Go, go, go. For once, let me get back with something insane. Let's go, man. Like, that is so huge. I for sure do want to bring these AKs out, but for now, I'm gonna make them into sets. Oh, shit. Like, I shouldn't be roof camming, but I heard these guys right outside. They got launchers on them. They're just like running around raiding people. Yeah, I want to set their AK. I am so raided. Oh, they're running. Three of them. Four of them. So I've been playing for about 13 hours straight at this point. And well, today had been a very good day. My base was completely finished, I had a good amount of doors down and a lot of traps. I locked off for the night hoping that my base would be fine the next morning. But this is what I woke up to. I had been offline raided. It was kinda expected though, but I'm glad I could at least show you guys a long video of me just playing for one single day. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and please let me know in the comments if you guys would like to see more solar content. Thank you guys so much for watching.